What do you think? Should we bring this look back? Just kidding. Hold on. <laughs> okay, that's better. Welcome to a light and lengthening full length bar class. Grab yourself a pair of two or three pound weights and a light booty band and let's get started. Take some space wherever you're working out today. I want nice wide feet and we're gonna start a little side to side loosening of the hips and the knees. Okay, so just kind of feel it out. Notice how your body is doing today. A little check in. Maybe your hips are cracking a little bit. You can go a little wider to get a little more stretch through the, the inner thighs if you'd like. We're gonna slow it down and we're gonna reach for the opposite foot. Give me a nice big twist. Twist, center, twist. So I'm trying to grab my foot and then I'm really opening that other arm a little faster, a little smaller, but I'm still moving those arms like crazy. Twist, twist, good. Give me eight more and then we're gonna grab those light weights right away. Keep your chest open, four, three, two, one. Good, bring it all together, roll your shoulders up and back. Grab your weights. This whole workout I want to be really like lengthening, okay? Totally doable. First position, heels together, toes apart. Nice deep plie, then stretch everything up. Palms face the body, lateral raise up and down. And I'm not joking when I'm saying lighter weights, like two to four pounds, five, you can do five, but it's gonna be a little harder because our movements are all away from the body. And those light weights start to feel really heavy. Up and down. So we're gonna add a little tondu, give me your right foot, out and in. Left, if you're a dancer, lift up, really stretch through those feet. If you're not a dancer, just try not to bend a knee going out to the side. Good, keep going. We're just gonna take it more to a ballet second position, meaning rounding the arms a little bit. Good, just a few more. Four, down, three. Keeping your breath light and moving as well. Okay, last one, we're gonna set the right foot down and give me a little pulse. Squeeze, squeeze. From the side, I have pretty nice round arms. Finally, this is gonna zing through your shoulders. Keep it out of your neck. Lower it a little bit if you need to. Good, all right, close and open. Close, open. Now the secret here to not getting all traps and neck is keeping the arms low. Good, few more. Four, open. Three, nice deep breaths. Two, we're gonna hold the arms closed. You can interlace the fingers if you want. Give me a nice little pulse. So squeezing, trying to find that little teardrop shape and that little curve on the shoulders. Good, give me a nice demi plie. Squeeze the legs back together, left foot forward. Sorry, your right foot, my left. Up, down, keep that nice little pulse. It's gonna go a lot bigger. Here we go with the leg. Brush, close, brush. Close. Now, with the idea of length here, can you stretch through your legs and your toes? Brush, down, brush, down. Two more. Ooh, almost lost my balance there. Good, hold in the center. Give me a demi plie. Sneak those heels high. Give me a nice little plie. Down, down. Palms are gonna lift, and you're just holding as far away from your body as you can manage. That's what causes the tension on the muscles. Okay, one plie, one little tiny bicep curl. Bicep curl. I'm losing my balance here. Get us together, Joanna. It's because there's a fly or a mosquito or something in here flying around. And I keep seeing it buzz by. And every once in a while that happens and I see it on video. All right, stay low, little pl pulse and plie. And, and now I'm keeping a little contact point here on my weight. You can do that or keep them totally apart. Whatever you prefer. Okay, as low in that deep plie as you can sustain. Four more, we're gonna go in and out with the elbows. Pull them into your waistline. Take it in, serve it out. So again, a very lengthening movement here. Pull the elbows back, send them forward. You can deepen the plie when you, when you pull. Pull and plie, press and stretch. That was hard for me to say for some reason. All right, stay in, little, almost rows. Come down to a parallel position. Palms are still facing forward. We have a little tricep action here. I want you to go elbow, wrist, hand. Elbow, wrist, hand. You're really gonna flutter through the back of your arms, few more. Again, the idea is length. Do you sense a theme here? Out, out, little faster, little smaller. Eight, seven, we're a bird. Five, four, three. Arms are gonna stay straight, little lifts, up. But I'm gonna take those palms to face. So a very classic bar tricep pattern here. Little circles, around, around. 
You can hinge deeper, or if that's getting into your neck, you can stay up a little higher. Back to that pulse behind you. Eight, seven. Now give me like some work here. Like really throw those arms behind you. We're gonna reverse the circle, out and around, out and around. Seven, six, I'm feeling those rear delts, something crazy. Four, three, two, weights collect right up below you. We're gonna start a nice wide fly. Now, I don't always love these with heavier weights, but I love them with the light weight. So I'm gonna get a little closer to you too, because I want you to see how the muscles that we're gonna work change. Turn your palms towards yourself, out and down. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but we just changed from back work to rear delt work with the variation change in the hand. Out, down, two more, two, one. Stay out, rotate your palms together, or your pinky fingers, almost like they're gonna touch. Try to slam them into the center. 10, nine, open the chest, eight, Seven, six, five, four, good. Two, one, and release, big shoulder roll. Okay, we're back to a little first position. This time we're gonna do some releves with a tiny light bicep curl. So float the arms up, pretty straight. Every time you raise your heels, you're gonna high five yourself in the face, essentially. Really staying zipped up here. This is what's hard for me. That's like the first thing I feel like I lost from not dancing anymore is just, the ability to like lock everything in. Lift and lower, keep your booty squeezed. Two more. Now you're gonna leave your arms about halfway out, little pulse through the heel, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Try not to fall over, so nice locked in balance. Keep the heels going out for two, in for two with the arms. Ah, in, in. And I want you to think like you are really stretching your arms and hardly bending them, otherwise it gets Really confusing, and it's kind of like this position. Take it out for two, in. Now just open and close. Open, settle the heels. Open, settle the heels. So I'm feeling everything. I'm feeling a little bit of residual bicep, but also still burn in those shoulders. Two more, two, stay open. Last set of pulses, let's do 16. Lengthen the arms. Stand up tall and straight and confident on your legs. Final leg, lift, seven, you're like, yeah, I like it. Four, three, two, one. Good, roll the shoulders back. Okay, just a little bit of shoulder work here. Parallel through the feet, arms to 90 degrees. Let's just do up an inch, down an inch, up, little down, little up. So I want you to quiet your mind here. Sometimes a lighter set of weights, a longer lengthening set of bar work, can be really nice on the brain. Just mentally, you're not like, oh, working so hard with heavier weights. So settle in there, a little faster. Press, press. I like to shift my weight from side to side as that burn starts to really creep in the shoulders. Little circles to the center, circle. Stay in calm. We're gonna reverse the circle and then take a bigger range of motion. Out, out. Stay calm, drop your shoulders, close your eyes if that helps you. Open and close, keep the elbows at shoulder height. Open, close. By the way, do you like my hot pink weights? Aren't they cute? One of the gals who takes my class here in Parker, she picked them up at a garage sale and I think they're super cute. Whew. Two more, two, stay to the side, hold. Remember that slow pulse? Up an inch, down an inch, baby. Ah, up an inch, down an inch. This is when that two or three pound weight ah, gets you. If you're feeling all in your traps, Shake it out, go right back into it. A little faster. One thing that helps too is to spread your back. Like someone pulled your elbow from wall to wall. Little circles, just back, back, because I don't want to encourage a rounding. Five, four, three. Now we're just gonna do a little rotation here, down and up. Down, up, Woo! down, up. That's sneaky, down. Try not to do anything weird with your wrists. Four more, up, Woo! I'm gonna have to Dig in a little bit, two, one little pass to the back right here for eight, seven. So try to turn your arms inside out, four, three, we're in our little final set, squeeze the elbows, try to get them behind your back, and back up. <laughs> squeeze, down. We did a bunch of shoulder stuff in the garage here this morning with my personal training clients, and so I don't know if this is hard or if I'm just feeling the fatigue from that. Four more big powerful ones. Three, up, two, 
One, back to that lung position, just eight little pulses. And then I want you to do a little modified push-up position with me. Three, two, one. So roll your shoulders, lose your weight. You, you need to find something in your house, like your countertop, the back of the couch. I'm gonna grab a box. So this is a great way to modify a push-up. You're not quite at such an extreme angle as being on the floor. So being up a little bit is so helpful. Just a nice neutral grip, down for two, and up for two. Good, a few more. Down, two, up. So if it's too high, you might not feel like this is hard enough for you. So feel free to experiment a little bit. You might need to go like to your ottoman. Keep your legs locked. All right, singles, down and up, down, up. So I'm trying to take my sternum or my ribs to the edge of that box. Four more, four, three. Now we're just gonna embrace the fatigue. We're gonna take a little tempo work here. Three pulses at the base. Three, two, one, extend all the way up. Three, two, one, extend all the way up. Keep your neck long. Don't let your booty pop out or your hips come back. Three, two, one, eight singles and we're done. Eight, seven. This is getting me. <laughs> I haven't done these in a while. Down, up, four. Keep your shoulders down, elbows tight. Two, one, oh, and press it back. Nice. Whew. Okay, so that's it for our little warm up. Grand plie is our first position for legs today. So nice and wide, turned out through the feet. Just go ahead and drop down and stretch for a moment. I always need a little link here. And I've been talking a lot to people when they do this position. If you feel like your hips lock up, just hinge, even if it feels like quite a lot. You don't wanna get that like discomfort in your hips. Okay, so we're gonna start low. We're just gonna come up an inch from there. Squeeze, down, squeeze. So you can hold on to something or do this freestanding. I like to hold on to something. It's nicer. Take it down. I feel like I can push a little deeper. A <sighs> little faster, down. If your hips feel fine, you are staying completely upright, nice and tall. <sighs> down and stay, down. Don't come up, push a little lower. Down and stay, <sighs> down and stay. Now you're cheating if at home you're taking your hands to your legs. I know some of you are, so take those hands off. Down and stay. <sighs> Down and stay. Okay, up an inch again from here. Up an inch, down an inch. Now, use like something inside you to really push against the floor. So every time your hips are lifting, they're not just mindlessly floating up. It's because you're pushing down. It has such a greater intensity. A little faster accent, up, up. Now, I want you to feel like your legs are a little pair of scissors and you're trying to close the scissors. See how different that looks? Again, I'm just going up and down or I'm pulling. So Get those legs on fire. Little upward triplet. Up, uh, two, three. You do not have to straighten your knees. We will in a second. Up, uh, two, three. We wanna keep the knees bent to maintain tension in the quads, at least for now. Up, uh, two, three. Good, all the way down, all the way up straight. Down, stretch, down, stretch. Now we're gonna take that a little quicker to a one and a half rep. So it's gonna look like this. Down, half, down, stretch. So, light and lengthening doesn't necessarily mean easy and slow. Sometimes a lot of good dynamic work can work to lengthen those legs. Lengthen those legs. Two more. Stay low. Okay, everyone's gonna hinge. Hands to prayer. Hold. Rock your feet back to that pinky toe side of your foot. Down an inch. Down. Little up. I closed my eyes and then I lost my balance. Stay with it, down, little up. Now encourage yourself. I know you're alone, maybe, in your living room or your home gym, wherever you are. You're like, no, I'm getting it. Down, up, a little faster, down, down. Did you know if I was there, I'd be like, girl, lower, lower. You can do it, you can do it. <sighs> little triplet downwards, down, two, three, little up, down, two, three, little up, go. A little deeper, <sighs> okay. My favorite tempo yet, down for two, up an inch and stay. Okay, we just have pulses and we're done. I'm not gonna throw anything else at you. Ah, this one kills me, down for two, down, low. Up an inch, stay, don't move. Down, up an inch and stay. Good, 16 pulses and we're done, 16, 15. If it helps you to put your hands down on your hips or grab your bar, do whatever works. 
Don't come up. Lower. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and stand up. Good job. <laughs> oh, quick quad stretch. We want to lengthen the muscles back out. It's definitely a little theme here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to head down to the floor for something called thigh dancing. This is something that used to be in every single class I taught when I started teaching bar. Um, it was like a requirement. You have to be careful with your knees on this one for sure. I like feet together in the back, knees apart. That's comfortable on my knees. If you don't want to be down here on your knees at all, stand up and squat. You can do all the same variations with us. So you can tuck your toes for a second for a nice little stretch, but for the actual work, I want you to untuck your toes. Down we go. So give me a nice little hinge here. Get comfy in your hips. And I want you to come up for two. Up, two, down, two. Just exactly like a squat. Hips are going forward and then hips back. Just give me a few tester ones because I want you to have happy knees. A little faster. Squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop. So for this particular variation, it's almost a little glute focused. I'm almost thinking like I'm bridging. Squeeze, down. Helps warm up the knee joints before the quads really get involved. So stay at the top. I want you to strengthen and lengthen all the way up and you're gonna hinge backward a little bit. Okay, hips are just going back a little bit and under, back, under, back. You can reach your arms forward here, back, under. Now stay in that long position. Go back for two, up for two, back for two. It doesn't take much, your quads, your butt is tight. Everything's in, we're not arching. Your quads are really working to support you. Okay, back to that hinge and just hold, stay. Little pelvic tucks, under, under, under. Now you might feel silly, it's okay. It's fun to feel silly. Finally, eight, seven, maybe you could use this later, you know what I'm saying? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm already dying, but we're not done yet. So sit back on your heels. I want you to stay there. No hinge this time or very little. You're just gonna lift off your heels and hover. Okay, pelvic floor and everything is squeezing. I'm burning like crazy already. Up an inch, down an inch. Up, down, up, down. Keep your chest upright. This is so much easier. Not gonna fill it in your quads at all. The goal is to fill it in the quads here. We're gonna lengthen everything out in a second. Two, one, can we do 16? 16, 15. Again, this is sort of a useful move. Whew. 10, 9, 8. Your quads better be burning, even if you're standing in a squat. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> it's almost laughable how much they burn. Anyway, we used to do that move all the time. It doesn't work for everybody's legs, but it's good. Okay, last movement for tops of our legs before we move to the back and the hamstrings is a little leg extension. So I want you to start down on your elbows. Okay, pick a leg. I'm gonna do my left leg first. We are parallel and flex. I really want you to engage your quad, relax, engage. Give me a little bit of a scoop through your pelvis. Now hold that, lift and lower, lift, lower. Now normally, if this was like an ab set, I would want you to really challenge your flexibility. Gravity is not gonna work as hard unless you have a long lever to work with. So keep it pretty low to the ground. Little faster, little press. I know my ballet dancers, you don't love to work in parallel. It's okay, we'll get there. Okay, so we're gonna come up to the hands, taking the hands behind us, trying to puff up the chest a little bit. Gets a lot harder, lift and lower. Lift, lower, lift. So what we're trying to avoid is this. We have one more position where you grab the shin, a little faster, up, up. So you can always do that, or come back down to the elbows if you need to. Stay there, open and rotate through the leg. Out, in. This is my leg that has no turnout in the hip, so I'm just gonna work with it. Four more, four, open, three. Just like a key and a lock, stay turned out, point the toe, little lifts up. So this is where you can grab your shin. If you can, <laughs> sit all the way up. It is so hard to lift that leg off the floor. Eight more and we're switching legs, seven, six, Lengthen, two, one, and release. Now, before we go to the other side, my quad needs a little moment, so I'm sure yours does too. Just a quick, just a quick one. 
Okay, and you can switch legs right where you are. I'm gonna flip around to the other side just to be extra. Okay, down to the forearms. Whoop. So we're gonna flex the foot. Just give me that quad engagement. Relax, engage, relax. Give your abs a moment here. <sighs> Scoop, good. Hold everything, then you lift. Lift, lower. Starting like that helps prevent you lifting from your hip flexor. And also like this, like that's not gonna do anything for us. So we wanna be in that really long scoop position, a little faster. Up, 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 ooh, feels so good. Good, back to that slow one, up and down. Here's where we go to the hands. See if you can play with it. Open the chest, up, down, up, down. Did we do something else here? I'm suddenly blanking out. My class is always just living in my head. All right, a little faster, a little lift, lift. Okay, key in a lock. I guess we didn't do anything else. Rotate from the hip. Out, in, out, in. We definitely skipped something. Did we? I don't know, feels like we did. Three, two, you're gonna stay turned out, point the foot, little pulses. We definitely did, do you think? Man, I wish you were here in a live class. Come up to the shin if you can. Let's do 16, just so it feels right. Lift, lift. Remember, if all you feel is your hip flexor, come back down. That's fine. Five, eight. Oh, I'm just spitting out weird words. 17, 21, <laughs> just kidding. Three, two, one, and release, good. Okay, quick stretch. Good, so we're actually gonna take a second to stretch, kind of transitioning side, so a little breath into that quad. And I want you to come to all fours. Well, let's go to a little lunge, and I want you to push your bottom knee down and tuck rather than pushing forward. It's really important that you drive under with your pelvis and lean back a little bit. This is so good to translate that quad up into the hip flexor, so it's kind of like a scoop with your pelvis and a lean back. You can take your hands behind the head to accentuate that. And then a bigger step forward with your front foot just settle into a lunge. I'm gonna offer you some options here. I want to go after my quad, but this isn't for everyone's knee. So I'm gonna wrap around with the opposite hand and grab the foot. Try to push your hips forward into that quad stretch. If that is not for your knee, or maybe your hamstring starts cramping, just settle into the lunge and you also have the option to drop to your forearms. Just hold there and sway for a moment. Let's take a nice, concentrated, relaxed, <sighs> lengthening deep breath. Good. So go ahead and release that foot. We're just gonna swap sides. Very simple, very focused on the front of the body here. Step the foot forward, drive the bottom hip under and the bottom knee down. You have to play with it a little bit, but it's gonna pay off. And then when you're ready, take that front foot a little farther forward, settle into your lunge. Whatever you did on the other side is what I want you to do here. So I'm gonna reach for that back foot. Most of what we're doing from here on out is on the floor, which is nice. We'll stand up a little bit um, to get some dynamic work in, but lots of lengthening stuff on the floor, which is my fave. I love to work out on the floor, don't we all? Okay, settle into whatever stretch you're in. Nice deep breath holds. Remember, we wanna work our muscles and then stretch them out so they are nice and long we're not feeling balled up and tight. Okay, so swing those legs around. I want you to grab the light band that you have. Um, you can totally do this with nothing at all, or you could put a ball behind your knee. That would be probably the closest representation. I want you to hook one side over your foot, and then you're gonna twist it like a little bow tie. I usually like twice, just to be safe. And then hook it on the other foot. So it looks like that. You are going to flip over, keep your feet flexed, and a little bit apart, that's gonna keep that band on your feet. Hand over hand and forehead down. Now I'm gonna look at you to demo. Keep your toes tucked. I'm gonna work my right leg first, it's up to you. So keep your leg straight, straight, that was hard to say. Go ahead and release the leg that you're gonna work, point the foot, and we'll start a little hamstring curl. Curl, release. So my opposite toe is staying tucked under, and my knee is off the floor to really lock this supporting hip in. What am I hurting over there? My weight. Up, down. Okay, so 
Just play with the resistance here on your band. If you can kick yourself all the way in the butt, great. But not at the expense of displacing your placement. So nice and long through the spine. Squeeze, flex through those hamstring fibers. All right, little pulse. Three of them. Three, two, one, release. Three. Now a good cue this whole time is to press your hips forward. Three, two, one. It restricts my range of motion a lot in the hamstring curl, but it keeps the back from getting after it. Just pulse. In, in. Woo. That hamstring is getting it. A few slow pulls to finish the set. Pull and hold. Release. Three. Don't let this hip bone come off. Push it into the floor. Now hold it there. You're going to lift this thigh off the floor. Set it back down. Off the floor. Set it back down. So a cue that works for me here is to, instead of lift the leg, I just think about pushing this hip bone into the mat. And then inadvertently, the leg is going to float off the floor. A little faster. Up. Up. <sighs> nice and tight in the back of the leg, right? Alternate one lift, one hamstring curl. So I'm thinking glute and then hamstring. Glute, hamstring, glute, hamstring. Remember, lengthen that opposite leg so your spine stays nice and long. Two more. <sighs> okay, now I want you to lift the thigh up and stay. From there, just double time curl, curl. <sighs> ah, 10, nine, eight more and we're done. We're gonna get out of that band. Six, five, three, two, one. Okay, so your, your leg that was working is gonna become your front leg. So step it forward. We're gonna take a nice, nice hinge here. I want you to stand up and down. Okay, so pretty move, pretty quick, moving right away. And you're gonna have to play a little bit with how you feel that supporting leg. This is a different muscle group, so don't be alarmed if you're like, gosh, I don't really feel my hamstring right off the bat. Once I start getting that glute involved, then I can tie the two together. Good. All right, stay low, up for two. Up, two, down, two. So I want you to keep that back toe adhered, and I want you to drive that front foot down into the floor. Down. Good, one more slow. Okay, a little faster. Up, down. So we're bringing everything in. Hamstring, glute, quads, all of it. Squeeze. Good. Stay low. Knee repeaters or little taps. Tap. Tap. In. 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 Just a few more. Final thing for our back of the legs is just to take this working leg or supporting leg and wrap it back to an attitude. Two. One. Bring it in. So we're going to switch it out. I'm going to come down to a nice little hinge, especially if you're a dancer. Turn out. Then I want you to angle the knee just a little bit downward. Lift and lower. Squeeze. Can you bring back the same mentality that we had on the floor of driving the hip forward? That is what's gonna lift your leg here. My dancers, we're not in a full turned out attitude. We're down a little bit in order to access the right muscles in the back of the leg. So stay slow. I want you to feel like that toe is poking to your opposite shoulder, up and back. Once you got it locked in, a little faster, squeeze. Squeeze. You can play with your degree of hinge. Where you feel it in the best place is where you can stay. Being a little more upright is definitely less back and core. Up and hold right here. Up, hold. Little down. Up, hold. Again, as I'm lifting, I'm driving my hips forward. Back to that pulse. Now we want to build a little bit of momentum here. We're going to finish with a nice big range of motion. Okay, big lift and then ankle to ankle. In. It's like a bad coupe. <laughs> a little bit turned out with your booty kind of to the back. A little faster, it doesn't matter if you're not quite full range. For some reason, I feel this better if I flex my foot and kind of push back. All right, I need seven more. Six. Fine, then we're right away to the other side, laying down, two, one. Oh, little hamstring stretch. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen that muscle. A few nice deep breaths, a figure four. Oh, yummy. Love it. Okay, without skipping a beat, we're just gonna head on down for our other side. Oh, love it. So hook the band, then we're twisting it one or two times to the other foot. Little tension is necessary. Flip it on over. So make sure you do the other leg. 
toes stay locked, knees stay straight, point the other foot, and then start that curl. Curl. Oh, this hamstring, oh, right out of the gate. I'm like, don't cramp, don't cramp. Oh, it's crazy. This is a light band too. It's not even that tight. All right, keep going. Let's get some good reps in the bank. Keep your hips pressing forward. Lift, lower. Good. All right, three pulses in. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, release. So I know you're working hard at home, right? But <laughs> try not to go so hard that you're losing form. One of my favorite things about bar is this feeling of introspectiveness. It reminds me a lot of ballet or taking dance class, you know? There's so much to think about. You're mentally so engaged that, I don't know, it's just very like spiritual somehow. All right, little pulses in, in. So having that mindful quality, like think about, okay, my pelvis feels square, my shoulders are down, my abs are up and in, my glutes are tight, my hips are pushing forward, I'm contracting that hamstring beautifully. Pull in and hold, hold. Bring in your breath. Exhale. All right, now hold it there. We're gonna try to lift the thigh. Off the floor, on the floor. Or in, in your mind, you're pushing your glutes and your hips forward into the mat. Three, two, one. Alternate, one lift of the thigh, one curl of the heel, and oh man, <laughs> I am feeling it. A few more, lift. This is when you might be um, tempted to lose form, so really fight for it. Good, four more, lift, curl, three. We're gonna fight to keep that thigh just an eighth of an inch off the floor. Right here, lift it up, hold. Pull, pull. It's really hard not to drop that thigh on the floor. 10, nine, everything you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, without missing a V, set that working leg forward, hinge, and we're gonna stand up, up, and back down. And I'm using a little support, but you can totally do this floating. Just make sure you have enough hinge back through the hips. So I think that's actually, maybe I lied to you. I think the support makes it a lot easier to stick the hips back, which makes it a lot easier to feel the back of your leg. Cause we don't want all quads here. In, out, in. Stay down, up for two. Up, down. And pretend like you don't have a back leg. If I was in your living room, I wanna see that glute squeeze. A lot of you commented on that other video, by the way said you work out in the living room. A little faster, up, down, push, up, down. Four more, we're gonna stay low, do that little tap with the other leg, do. Stay low, ready? In and out, in, in. Now this is pointless if you're too high, so don't cheat. Get down there, rely on your um, push point here if you're holding on to something, five, four, Three, two, one. Sweep that other leg behind you. Here we go. So maybe set up to a nice attitude, little hinge, and then turn the knee down just a little bit. Here we go, up an inch. Squeeze. Bring in the control. You, it's your body, right? So you should mentally be able to be like, bicep, quad. You know, like, like just have so much detailed control to get that movement going. Good, a little faster. Remember, we are trying to take that shape and poke it behind, kind of cross body to that opposite shoulder. Woo. Up. Good. Eight more, eight, seven, six. So we're gonna go back to those slow ones before we ramp it up to the dynamic full range of motion. Here we go, up an inch, down an inch. Play with it. Maybe you're coming up a little more upright. Push your hip forward. Squeeze, back to that pulse again. Eight, seven. Okay, so nice deep breath, strong core, drop your shoulders, long neck, lift the leg to coupe. Lift, coupe. Play with your position on the upper body. Bottom knee is always kind of soft, just so that I don't lose like that, all that connection through here. We wanna stay really scooped and lifted. 
Double time, might not be as big. Lift, lift. This is where it helps me to flex the foot because I'm trying to kick out, find that glute. Final phrase. Here's six, four, good. Two, one, and release. That's why I felt nicer somehow. That never happens. <sighs> okay, so for our ab work today, we're kind of taking a different approach. We're gonna do a little more planking, forearm plank, a little bit of oblique, and roll up some longer kind of things like breathier movements. Okay, so come down. <sighs> Let's get, give another hamstring stretch. My body needs it. I don't know about yours. <sighs> Okay, so let's start with some straight leg roll up and down. So if you can, remember to modify, just bend your legs. Nice and tall up in the sit bones, down for four. Four, three, two, one, up, four, three. My microphone is getting crushed, <laughs> down for three, two, one, up for four. Try to really roll through each vertebrae, articulating. You know what? I'm just having a little bit of a victory moment right now. This felt like it would never happen after babies. You know what I mean? When you're like, no, it's just it's never going to integrate. It's never going to be back there. Look at this. Yay. I mean, Scarlett's almost two, so I would hope so. Down for two, up for two. Take it down. Two. Roll it up. Down. Takes a long time, man. Down. Good, now I'm gonna ask you to do something pretty hard. I want you to roll down right where it gets difficult and hang out right there. Down an inch, up an inch, a little down, a little up. You can bend your knees if that's easier. I think it's just as hard either way. Down, up, down. A few more, four, three, good. Two, one, roll all the way down. We're gonna flip it over. Forearm plank, first forearm plank of this series. Tuck your toes and just stay. Nice, big old deep breath through the back and the shoulders. Just stay. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Alternate your knee taps. Super simple. Right knee, left knee. This is a little bit of endurance, so stick with me. Double time. Right, left, right, left. Now we're gonna employ the shoulders a little bit. It's almost like a little downward dog. You're gonna pike through the hips. Up, two, down, two. This actually should give your abs a little bit of break. So you're welcome, two more slow. Up, down, exhale. Now take this way smaller, it's just through the abs. Little lift, little lower. So very much less pike. Left, lower. It's like a fish hook through your belly button. Four, three, Woo. two, good, one, and release. Little stretch up. But we're flipping back over to our back. So, one knee is gonna be up to a little crunch position or a little figure four position. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? Tabletop. My microphone is distracting me. All right, so we're up to tabletop. Other leg is long, and I just want you to hold for a second. You are not letting this go, so maybe do it wrong. Let it go and then pull it back in. Opposite hand behind the head, a little curl. Up, down. So this hand is available for all sorts of shenanigans. You can hold behind to support, or if you're feeling good, both hands behind. It's really hard. Little pulses, exhale. Another modification is just to bend the bottom knee. Four, three, we're going across the body. Exhale, exhale. Try to find some stability here. I gotta keep that hand on the other side for now. Four. Three, two, we're in a pulse and then switch legs in a second. Eight, seven, six, feel free to hold on. Four, three, two, switch knees and hold. Exhale, head, neck, and shoulders down, switch. A little faster, switch, switch, curl it up. Just eight more, eight, seven, push out. You can flex your feet, that gives you a greater sense of length. Two, one, and release. Other side. That was easy. Tabletop. Hand behind the head. <sighs> Leg long. Just hold. Try to scoop. <sighs> scoop, 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 scoop. Curl. To the center. Up. Down. 
point your toes for extra credit and gold stars. Four more, four. This is way harder the second time. Three more, two, one. Little pulse. Four more, four, three. We're gonna take it across. Support if you need to, cross. Ooh, that was wobbly, cross. Good, keep going, cross. Two, one, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, lengthen. Lengthen the legs, four, three, two, straight legs, just to hold here. Hold for four. Nice deep breath, hold for four. Take a moment to stretch out the hamstring. Back to that bent knee position, a little faster, curl it up. So this is where we wanna stay. Don't worry, we'll go back to that stretch in a moment. Give me eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come down on your back. Before we flip back to our plank, legs up to the ceiling. Give your hamstrings a little stretch. And we're gonna try to keep these legs straight. We're gonna do a few different variations here. Reverse curl, lift, lower. I usually don't like these with my legs straight and here's why. My quads are trembling because they're really activated here. That's okay, that's not a bad thing. A little faster, up. Uh, different way to work. A few more and we're going to bend the knees a little bit. Micro bend the knees, same thing, a little slower. Up, down. Push your hands into the floor, exhale, scoop. Scoop. A little faster. Eight, seven. Woo. We're going to try to bend the knees to 90 degrees. Get the hips off the ground. Up, down. Honestly, this is the hardest for me. My legs feel so heavy. A little faster, eight, seven. Now this is easy if you're doing this, so don't be rocking around. Four, three, two, one. Roll, flip, forearm plank, hold. Okay, hip dip, side to side rotation, slow right, up and over, left, breathe in. I want more slow, four. It just feels all right, three. Up and over like there's a fire burning under your belly button. You don't want to burn yourself a little faster. I'm not twisting quite as far. Five, three. Okay, stay there. Bring the bottom arm underneath. Top arm lifted. Doesn't matter which arm goes under. Hold. Now, nice and slow again. Up an inch. Hips. Hips. Now, don't be fooled into thinking this is where you reach. It's down here. Push into that bottom arm. To modify, drop the knee a little faster. Good. We're going to rotate and then we're back to the other side. So top arm is going to go down and up. Get after it. Down. Up. Down. You have four more. You can do it. Well, that was five. So now here's four. Four. Whew. Three. It hit me like a brick wall. Two more. Two. One. And release. I need a quick break. Other side. I'm going to flip to this side, but you just go to your other side. <laughs> All right, side plank, here we are. Ta-da! Up an inch, down an inch, bottom hip. Down. Are you zen? Are you feeling in the zone? Long and light, a little faster. Up, up. Keep your head on your spine, really important. Up, up. Good. Bottom arm, down. Up. And by bottom, I mean the top arm, obviously. <laughs> Good. I need a few more. Somehow this side is fine. Let's do four, three. It's fine until it's not fine. Two, one. Oh, good. Okay, last thing, you guys. Last forearm plank set. Here we go. We're gonna bend and stretch both of the knees. Bend, stretch, bend. Inhale, exhale. Feel like you're a torpedo through the top of your head. Four. Channel your intensity here. Two more. Good, we're gonna hold for 16 counts. Don't you dare drop your knees. 16, 15. I wanna drop. Woo! Feel like I'm gonna throw up in my mouth a little bit. Do you ever get that? That's always fun. Eight, seven, six, five. Hold. You can do a hard thing. Three, two, one, and release. Good job. Okay, press back. We are gonna take a little stretch here because we want to lengthen back out. 
So grab some water and just stay here with me for a few more minutes. <sighs> Come up to all fours. Let's just take, pick a leg, any leg, and bring it forward. We're gonna go right into a little half pigeon. My favorite modification for this is just a double attitude. Can be a really nice place to start, especially if you got a cranky hip. <sighs> Rotating forward. So I want you to just take a second to like, de-stress, like get in your zone. Settle down, drop your chin, close your eyes. Some nice deep hoosa kind of breaths. Oh my gosh, I did a breath work video on YouTube the other day. I was feeling like stressed out. I think I had a panic attack for the first time. Um, that's gonna open up a whole can of worms. That might be way too much for today's video, but um, I just, I feel like maybe I got a taste of what people experience when they have anxiety. I've never really dealt with that before. So we should probably talk about that in depth in another video and get your feedback and your commentary if you struggle with that or if that's like a normal part of your life. Anyway, I was doing like some breath of fire breath work in the car while I was driving. I thought I was gonna pass out. I was like, maybe this isn't the best thing. But um, yeah, I'm kind of interested in breath work because it's supposed to give you like a natural high and you're supposed to access, be able to access like cooler parts of your brain naturally. I'm into that. Okay, so sit down. You're gonna lengthen that bottom front bent leg to a straight leg and stretch over it. You can go real square or you can open out kind of to the side. That's kind of yummy. Oh, that's actually, ooh, that is nice. <sighs> so anyway, I don't know, maybe, I'm definitely gonna, not gonna teach breath work on here, but it's fascinating. <sighs> like how powerful your lungs and what chemicals and gases your lungs release can do to your brain and your psyche. Gosh, there's so much I don't know in life. Do you ever feel like that? You're like, wow, I've been around for a few years and there's, there's just so much I don't know. Which this is a random side tangent, but in America, how crazy is it that we typically only speak one language. Like I took like seven years of Spanish. Can I speak Spanish? Absolutely not. And that's annoying to me. Like in Europe, everyone speaks so many languages. I was just thinking about that the other day. Super random. Okay, we're stretching, okay? We're lengthening and elongating. And thinking about our prefrontal cortex and all that the world has to offer us. And that we should stay curious, maybe. Okay, switch legs. I'm just getting weird now. Other side, settle in. You know what class I need to learn is how to shut up when I'm cueing stretching. I love watching videos where the person is just like, you know, the person is just like so calm. They're like, hi, please take some space on your mat. And you're instantly like, I feel better about everything. Thank you, thank you for that. I don't feel like I'm that kind of person. I'm like, hey. <laughs> Like can't calm down. So I'm gonna shut up for a second. We're gonna get a little bit introspective. Close your eyes. Relax your forehead, relax your eyes, your jaw. If you know some fancy breath patterns, do them, apply them if applicable here. Oh, this is nice. Just stay. I kind of wish we were like required as adults to take a class, just like a random class, just so that we could stay learning. Like I think most people do, but I'm in a way miss being forced to learn. Okay, that front bent leg is gonna straighten out. I'm just changing angles. Remember you can go open or closed. <sighs> That'd be nice. You know what? I'm alone right here in my garage. Like, I know you're watching this, but I am alone as alone can be. And I really enjoy chatting, like while we're stretching, because I imagine you guys, I'm like, what should we talk about? Does that make me weird? Are you like my imaginary friend? I think that's sort of the situation to me. It's really bizarre. YouTube is super weird. <sighs> anyway. Um, also, I'm avoiding 100% starting a Facebook group because I actually started one and I didn't invite anyone because I was like, what if I can't sustain it? What if I'm not entertaining enough or inspiring enough to like post 
really deep content every single day. And I just froze. So if anyone knows how to like kick me in the pants and just say do it, because I think it'd be really fun to talk through there and be able to chit chat all day, talk about our anxiety and our issues and our wonderful, joyous things as well. Bring both legs forward and let's just finish with a double leg stretch, sitting nice and tall through your back, up and over. Find the length first, so even, like I just had to stop there. Ugh. Even if you're up this high, be true to what's happening through your body, a little hinge through the hips. Take a big old breath, close your eyes, feel the stretch behind your legs. I read one time that you measure taller after you stretch your hamstrings, and to be honest, I'm not sure how much truth is that. It might be like a, an 80th of an inch or something, but I like to picture that. So go a little farther. Like just after you stand up and you've done a pretty deep hamstring stretch, you just definitely feel taller. So I like to imagine that. We're gonna just settle in here for a second. If you have the time, we're just gonna get cozy with our legs. Drop a little deeper. Deep breath. You should be able to feel your muscles give way a little bit when they at least stop holding so tightly, when they release just a little bit, chase it, and then push your body down a little bit farther. Don't forget to breathe deeply in your back. You need that. Oh my gosh, I could stay here for a year. This feels super nice. I suppose we should come back to life. Roll up nice and tall, stacking your vertebrae one at a time like a nice tall tower. And that's it, you guys, I'm just gonna end you right there. I was gonna stand you up and have this dramatic finish, but you might need to lay around on the floor and pet your dog and stuff like that. So we're gonna end here. Thank you again for joining me for another workout. I just love it. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.